Hi. I'd like to discuss reducing noise in low light situations by combining multiple shots. Now you can be in a situation where you're trying to take a picture of buildings or landscape in low light and you don't have a, a tripod, uh, you're holding handheld, but you still need a g decent shutter speed and this will basically mean you have to shoot at a high ISO. Now that will actually lead to quite grainy images. So what we can do about this is actually instead of taking a single shot, take at least three. Now with handheld you're going to get a slight misalignment, which is good uh, because when you combine the images this is what will actually reduce the noise in the photo. If you're on a tripod you can just give it a little tap between shots and what we'll do is stack these images or merge them together and by t doing this we're going to actually reduce the noise in the photo. This will lead to a cleaner image. Now if you look at this first shot which was just taken at f4 20th of a second at 64,000 ISO you can see the image is quite grainy. If I combine six shots together at the same settings you see the image is uh, cleaned up quite a lot. It won't be perfect but it will be a much cleaner now, how do we go about this? If I go to the file menu and pick a new stack, I can add my photos in. And as you can see, I've got six photos here, all of the same shot, basically taken on continuous. And what I can do is select those six shots and open them. And basically the images will be automatically aligned. OK, so the file's now actually loaded, and the first thing I'll do is just show you one of the images. If I just turn off the other images, you can see this one's been slightly realigned to match the other images. But if I zoom in, you can see the clock face has got quite a lot of noise in it. And if we move off to the side and the edges, you can see all the noise in the picture not very good. If I turn all those other images back on you can see the noise reduce quite dramatically. Now what's it actually doing? What you've got is a stack of six images all together here and what the system has actually done is it's passing them through each other using a median method um, or a mean to actually pass the average out the image the noise in the background but obviously the the actual static picture the real picture increases slightly better as well so if I just move to here again and just turn off the other images, you can see the difference. Quite dramatic. Now that I've actually got that image, I don't actually need all six together. So what I can do is merge the visible images. And here we have it. So this particular stack I now can delete all it's doing is taking up space in the file. Now once I've got that I can just do my normal edits I'd expect to do. So uh, I can take myself over um, to the develop persona. I can do my usual uh, type of work. So uh, I can uh, reduce the darkness a little bit to give it a bit more of a night feel. I can look at my shadows and highlights.
and I can just make sure that um, by reducing the shadows I don't overdo it. I'm actually already quite close to black and the highlights again just make sure they don't blow out on the lights as you can see here we want to make sure that uh, uh, we can bring those down a little bit so they're not too prominent in the photo so once I'm happy with the general balance maybe just increase the vibrancy a little bit yep the grass looks okay I can develop that and I can perhaps improve it slightly by adding a, a sharpening layer, say a, a high pass filter and just if we look here I'll overcook it so you can see what I'm doing I just want the um, very edges just to be uh, used. I'll use monochrome because it's a, a dark scene and I'll just use linear light as my blending mode now if we look at that, if I turn the sharpening back off, you can see it is visibly sharpening up the image. And that is how we can improve the image in low light. Thank you.